life and turmoil, we ask the maiden to protect Sally's virtue and keep her from the clutches of depravity. You're going to do all seven of the fuckers? <laughs> Father! We ask the smith to strengthen our hands and our backs so we may finish the work required of us. We ask the crone to guide us on our journey from darkness to darkness. And we ask the stranger not to kill us in our beds tonight for no damn reason at all. Fuck the police coming straight! Go on, get it over with. The list of doomed men. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Go on. The Hound. Hey! Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. The hell you're doing? Practicing. What? Ways to die? I'm to wed Lollis Stokeworth. Lollis Stokeworth? She doesn't strike me as your sort of girl. I wouldn't say I have a single sort of girl. She's dim-witted. If I wanted wits, I'd marry you. Ha! When my sister arranged this love match, did she mention that Lawless has an older sister? Felice. Aye, I didn't know about the older sister. Then you understand the rules of inheritance. Felice is 40 in Baron. She still gets Castle Stokeworth when her father dies. She does. Unless she happens to perish before her father, then Lollis gets the castle. What? Ladies fall from their horses and snap their pretty necks all the time. Your Grace, I have travelled a long way. You must be exhausted. Put the pen down, dear. We both know you're not writing anything. Ah, oh, yes. The famously tart-tongued Queen of Thorns. And the famous tart Queen Cersei. Ooh! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. You fucking traitor. You fight for the crows now? I don't fight for the crows. We're not here to fight. We're here to talk. Is that right? You and the pretty crow do a lot of talking, Tormund. And when you're done talking, do you get down on your knees and suck his cock? <laughs> <laughs> the elders and let's talk I claim the salt throne niece nephew little Theon Heard you managed to fuck things right into the ground. <laughs> Captured a castle you couldn't keep. Got yourself taken prisoner. Even heard you have no cock. <laughs> <laughs> Explains why you think a woman can be king. I don't know what you heard about me. You can be the right hand I lost. You promised me a lordship, and a castle, and a high-born beauty for a wife. And you'll get all three. A Lannister always Don't pays... say it. Don't fucking say it. Da -da -da -da. It's the one and only Eagle Double is a prisoner of House Frey. Only a fool makes threats he's not prepared to carry out. Well, let's say I threaten to hit you unless you shut your mouth. 
but you kept talking. What do you think I do? I don't give a rap. I'm here by the king's command to take back this castle, have him bathed and fed, unless you'd like to take his place. Yeah. Lady Mormont. Welcome to Bear Island. I remember when you were born, my lady. You were named for my Aunt Liana. It was said she was a great beauty. I'm sure you will be too. I doubt it. <laughs> my mother wasn't a great beauty or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior, though. She died fighting for your brother, Rob. I served under your uncle at Castle Black, Lady Liana. He was also a great warrior and an honourable man. I was his steward, in fact, I... I think we've had enough small talk. Why are you here? Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These Intimate, lovely table. Better chairs than the old small council chamber. Conveniently close to your own quarters. I like it. Look, little loves. A spider in the garden. Run along now. Grow strong. My lady. I wanted to personally welcome you to King's Landing. The city has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? You here to seduce me? A little obvious, perhaps. Oh, no, please. Seduce away. It's been so long. Though I rather think it's all for naught. What happens when the non-existent bumps against the decrepit? Question for the philosophers. Ha! But you've come mincing all this way for something. So? Might I sit? No. Ha! Ha! Calm. I've heard you're such a clever man. I'm curious why you sought me out. You've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Have I? Because I spoke to her once in this garden and one of your little spies came running to tell you. Why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. She's had an interesting childhood. She has, sadly. Well, forgive me for wasting your time, then. I thought we shared certain hopes for her well-being. Come, come. You surrender rather easily. Oh! I'm on a new level. Oh! I'm on a new level. Oh! I'm on a new level.
Is it done then? They belong to me. Pindas Lusa Sertida. Sertida. This is done. Bellos is done. You hold the whip. Sparrows is here. As the Azantir. Zadrizes buzdaris kos daor. Nitraji valire. Nige daineres chel masmo enta gerio lentra. En valire awe ko anagar eksan. Valire o munio engos nuhis isa. Dova gedi. Axio ozentas, menti ozentas. Kiloni pilos lue vale tolmio ozinatas. Ininini o trigatas. Urnei lue tolhe prijotas. Sena, ske, aske. Sena, sena, sena. Drakaris. God's boy, that's enough. We're not in a tavern. Pardon me. There's no need to speak. Are there any figs? Fetch some. I always take figs mid-afternoon. They help move the bowels. To what do I owe this summons? Thank you for seeing me, my lady. I had hoped we might discuss a few financial matters. I climbed all those steps to discuss financial matters. It's the royal wedding. I told you I had a hand in planning it. Naturally. It's shaping up to be a very involved affair. The word extravagant has been used. What good is the word extravagant if it can't be used to describe a royal wedding? I understand that. Good. But, as master of coin, it falls upon me to calculate the cost for the crown. As of now, it's a huge expense. And? And we're at war, Lady Olena. Oh, I'd nearly forgotten. Yes, and maintaining supply lines. I think how it slipped my mind. What is it, 12,000 infantrymen the Tyrell family has supplied? 1,800 mounted lancers? 2,000 in support. Provisions so this city might survive the winter. A million bushels of wheat, half a million bushels each of barley, oats, and rye. 20,000 head of cattle, 50,000 sheep. You don't have to lecture me about wartime expenses. I'm quite familiar with them. And we are so grateful for your contributions, which are necessary for the preservation of the realm. As is a royal wedding. The people are hungry for more than just food. They crave distractions. And if we don't provide them, they'll create their own. And their distractions are likely to end with us being torn to pieces. A royal wedding is much safer, wouldn't you say? I would. And traditionally paid for by the royal family. I was told you were drunk, impertinent, and thoroughly debauched. You can imagine my disappointment at finding nothing but a brow-beaten bookkeeper. Where did you go for them, Volantis? My lady. Oh, very well. I won't have it said the house Tyrell refuses to play its part. We'll pay for half the expenses, and the celebrations will go on as planned. Is that sufficient? Quite sufficient, thank you. Very good, then. That's settled. Good day. It's bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Savage. She's a child. She's a foot taller than you. A tall child. What's the youngest you've ever had? Not that young. How much older? Older. You're a lord, she's a lady. <coughs> and the beauty of that, I don't see the problem. Shay isn't going to like it. Shay is a whore. Are you going to marry her? Eh? How did marrying a whore work out for you the first time? I should never have told you about that. You want Shay? Keep her. Wed one and bed the other. All we have to do is get a son in the Stark girl. He'll be Lord of Winterfell one day. You can rule the North in his name. You'll have two women and a whole kingdom of your own. Two women to despise me? 
and a whole kingdom to join them. You waste time trying to get people to love you. You'll end up the most popular dead man in town. <laughs> you want to fuck that start, girl? You just don't want to admit it. I, I don't pay you to put evil notions in my head. The ones already there don't need company. You pay me to kill people who bother you. <coughs> evil notions come free. I don't know what you heard about me. No, you're a queen, not an ox. Your grandfather gave me a necklace, just like this one. My 51st name day. Mm -hmm. The wedding is in a fortnight, Grandmother. You can't say no to everything. Nonsense. My little dears, go and speak to the jewelers of King's Landing. Tell them who you are, tell them who sent you. The one who brings me the best necklace will get to keep the next best. The Marjorie Tyrell who walks into the scepter fortnight from now will inspire a thousand songs. How sad it will be if she's wearing rubbish like that. Perhaps I should just let Joffrey choose it for me. End up with a string of dead sparrow heads around my neck. You watch that. Even here, even with me. My word. My lady, my lady. Please pardon me for interrupting. My name is Brienne of Tarth. We know who you are. I... We've heard all about you, but hearing is one thing. Aren't you just marvelous? Absolutely singular. I hear you knock my grandson into the dirt like the silly little boy he is. My lady, I know this is a very busy time for you, but if I could just have a moment. You dare not refuse. <laughs> I wasn't originally meant to marry your grandfather, Luther, you know. He was engaged to my sister, your great-aunt, Viola. I was to be given to some Targaryen or other. Marrying a Targaryen was all the rage back then. But the moment I saw my intended, with his twitchy little ferret face and ludicrous silver hair, I knew he wouldn't do. So... The evening before Luther was to propose to my sister, I got lost on my way back from my embroidery lesson and happened upon his chamber. <laughs> How absent-minded of me. Mm -hmm. The following morning, Luther never made it down the stairs to propose to my sister because the boy couldn't bloody walk. <laughs> and once he could, the only thing he wanted was what I'd given him the night before. I was good. I was very, very good. I'm sexy and I know it. My queen, please accept this gift on behalf of all of your loyal subjects in the Iron Islands. I give you what no other man could give. Justice. Justice for your murdered daughter. You've proven yourself the greatest captain on the 14 seas, and a true friend to the crown. You deserve more than a true friend. And you deserve a proper reward for your heroism. There's only one reward I want. You shall have what your heart desires. When the war is won. With Euron Greyjoy commanding our naval forces and Jaime Lannister leading our armies, the sons and daughters of Westeros shall defend our country. There's nothing quite like it, is there? The love of the people. I suppose you wouldn't know. The same mob spattered my sister not long ago. And if you turn on us, I would cheer to see your head mounted on a spike. All yours. They're just like seven heads, really. Listen. If you have any advice at all, I would love to hear it. When we have an hour or two to speak, as 
brothers. Advice? Does she like it gentle or rough? A finger in the bum. <laughs> Not now. We'll talk later. Yeah. Will there be pain? No. I made sure of that. That's good. I'd hate to die like your son, clawing at my neck, foam and bile spilling from my mouth, eyes blood red, skin purple. Must have been horrible for you, as a king's guard, as a father. It was horrible enough for me, a shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. You see, I'd never seen the poison work before. Tell Sassy. I wanted to know it was me. Tryna kiss me riding dirty. 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 Nice sword. Very nice dagger. They haven't contributed the right amount of grain to the stores, then I'm afraid they'll have to make do with what they've brought. We can't. It's been a while since I trained. I can go and find the Master of Arms to you, my lady. He didn't beat the Hound. You did. I want to train with you. You swore to serve both my mother's daughters, didn't you? Move aside, Podrick. You can't use that, my lady. It's too small. I won't cut you. Don't worry. Ha! Ha! I'll try not to. You had to do that. No one. I'm on a new level. 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 Brought me a new shovel. Put this nigga.